Hello everybody, my name is Dokriva and this is Hearthstone. We're two for two with our druid deck of incredible hilarity. We did not get to play Nosdormu anymore since our very first game. And so far we have, well last episode we lost two and won one. Mostly I feel because of the unluckiness of card draw and just that the opponents had a lot more luck. And in that last game, if uh, it was a little bit on the edge, of course, against the mage, if she had a Pyroblast, I would have been dead. Now this is what I would like in a draw. Yes, this is what I'm going to keep. You have a decent sized for turn uh, five or four with a coin, and we have some two two minions. Of course, the fairy dragon goes before the iron beak owl because that silence is something you want to keep behind always. And let's let's just coin into fairy dragon then. I can play uh, to uh, my shape shift next turn, regardless. So, yeah, that me mean four damage, and let's see what he puts out then summoner instead. Ah, a pine size summoner, which I want to destroy. If I get a moonfire, which we actually do, so we take the one damage. We hit with moonfire, and we hit Rexar for three. And that's actually the end of our turn as well. Nature. Will rise again. Yeah, I like to threaten my opponents, but don't get cocky. Anyway, Pine Size Summoner off the field already. Next turn, most likely the Torn Warrior. Um, freeing ourselves up we with some... Uh, oh! Well. A 3-3 three, three on the field, cannot play anymore. And right now it's all about keeping the advantage, which means I will kill off the guy. Otherwise, my Torn Warrior is already dead. So this is how this deck should work. Keep control of the board until... Um, okay, we can kill it. Uh, he does two damage to me, which is fine. Let's see, what do we get now? Oh, a mountain giant, which would cost 12... Oh, well, 8. Um, we could swipe it, but there's nothing else on the field right now. So I'd rather save the swipe for next turn and instead do him in for one damage. I think that was a lot more safe. Uh, otherwise, if we had the plus one plus one, we could have played that and have our Thrawn Warrior survive and become a 6-1 with Taunt. Always fun. That's why we keep a swipe behind. Oh my god, that's just perfect. Um, yeah. Um, let's uh, swipe it and then do something else next turn. And it does one damage to him as well. So he he, still I still will feel that I have the advantage because I have one more card and a little bit more health. But okay, that's a very scary card to get out. Of course, um, Lord of the Arena will kill it. It will kill me as well. And. But, but, um, it's a 6-5, so it will do 6 damage, that's true. But I think silencing it to get rid of those two creatures will be better in the end. And this means that I will armor up and attack him. So he will be able to do 6 damage to me this turn, but he doesn't get those two extra summons. And I can play a taunt next turn, or even my mountain giant. Depends on what he plays. Yeah, I know you will attack me. But I silenced you, which is what I wanted to do. And he will return it. Uh, so he can play it again next turn. So he regains his his uh, death rattle. And, it, and again, ooh, soul of the forest. It can kill this. It cannot kill um, my fen creeper, though. So I will play it like so. I will... Should I suicide my owl on it? No. I can suicide my owl next turn on the Beastmaster, Brewmaster, with uh, this out. Unless he can kill it, regardless. The Soul of the Forest will be fun at one point as well. Um, next turn we can play Mountain Giant for 7. I have 1 mana left though. So what are you playing? Are you playing your Savannah High Main again? It's, uh, yes, that's going to happen. Ah, there's even, oh, that was very lucky. <laughs> and there's the high main. Okay, at least the mad bomber will be dead because of my owl this turn. Oh, that's even, that's even cheaper. So, 
Let's play the mountain giant. Let's kill the mad bomber and let's naturalize that high main. Cheapest way he gets two cards, he gets his hyenas out. But we have a 8-8 on the field and lots of taunt in our hands. So they they look quite ridiculous, the hyenas, but yeah. Uh, a 4-4 four, four enters play. But we will have taunt next turn, so what do we have? Deal 3 damage. Deal 6, okay, then he uses one of these to kill it off, of course. But I'm fine with that because, oh, I even get my biggest taunt. Um, he can kill either of these taunts, so for now we're gonna play the Lord of the Arena. Because he'll have to use a lot to kill it off. And I'll do 1 damage. And I will... I will armor up, well, shapeshift anyway, because the armor stays, that's always good. I still feel I have control, even though he does have seven cards in his hands. Oh, crap. Another kill command, of course. And a stealth beast. Steady shots and does a total of eight damage this turn. I will have to play both of these, I feel, now. Uh, we could do... Well, hmm... Huh. Okay, now I cannot play that what I wanted anymore, but I will play Wait, this guy nice and bear form. He will probably use his tiger first, so it dies, but then... Uh, or he uses these two. That's annoying. I should not have played my... Uh, that thing so quickly, my shapeshift. Then again, I can kill the hyena. And... Nice. I will take this. I will do it like this. I think that's the more safe way to play. But I think I should not have done the shapeshift, but instead played or played my Iron Bark Protector. But it would have lost it to these two in one go anyway. Oh god. He has a deadly shot. Of course he has deadly shot. Well, that didn't matter what I played last turn, I would have lost anyway. Yep, that's the end of Arno's Dormund Druid Arena deck. Oh, I'm not that good yet at these things, I guess. But let's open up our prize of two coins only. Oh. I think I did get too cocky with the plays. Let's see, that's 10 gold, that's a pack of cards, 20 gold, and... Wow, last time we only had dust, now we only have gold. We get out of the arenas. Let's open that one pack we just got and then we go back into the arena with a different deck again. Uh, different. So, what do we have? Oh, a rare. The Master Swordsmith, a Fen Creeper, a Freezing Trap, a Slam. Deal 2 damage to a minion if it survives, draw a card. And a Earth Shock. Silence a minion, then deal 1 damage to it. Always nice. Um. Okay, yeah, I get you can filter, but let's go back into the arena and pay with uh, gold again. Okay, let's see. Choose our hero. Malfurion, we just had Gul'dan or Jaina. I feel that Jaina is... Yeah, we've played more mage, so we shall play a mage right now. And let's see what we have. Pine Size Summoner, Ravenhold Assassin, Stampeding Kodo. That's one tough starting choice. Pine Size Summoner, extremely strong, but I think I'm gonna p pick the Raven Old Assassin to have a very high cost card ready to play in end game. Mad Bomber, 3 damage split. Abusive Sergeant, I feel, is the best of these because that 3 damage can randomly go for you instead. I mean, last game, it, I, it was the. Uh, I believe it was the. No, I believe it was last episode where the Mad Bomber. Uh, got lucky. No, it was actually this game. It was against the Hunter, where he killed his own and mine in one swoop. Actually, no, I will take the Mad Bomber and see what it can do. Mirror Entity, when your opponent plays a minion, summon a copy of it. Definitely going to pick that card. 5-5. Five, five. Um, out of these, um, Dalaran Mage would be strong, because we are a mage, obviously. So we get some... Uh, but we do need to get spells to have it work. Um, a 4 cost, 2 4 draw a card, 1 cost, 1 2 taunt, or uh, 3 2 destroy weapon. In this case, I will take the taunt. Arcane Missiles. Arcane Missiles, together with uh, Spell Power, gives you 4 missiles, I think, for 1 damage and not the other way around. 
So I will take the arcane missiles, have a spell ready. Arcane explosion, board clear, yes please. Um, fan creeper taunt or stone pike commander? No, I will take this uh, the taunt. And the middle one, it was a weapon pirate and we don't have weapons as a mage. Death rattle, deal two damage to all characters, it has taunt. Also, Emperor Cobra, destroy any minion damaged by this minion. Uh, in this case, I will take the Abomination. And we don't have any Murlocs, so the Cold Light Seer is not useful anyway. Kirin Tormage, the next secret you play this turn costs zero. We have one secret so far, so that might as well... Yeah, I'll, I'll pick the Kirin Tor. And it's still a three cost for three. Uh, our first spell and removal, I mean, charge is good. That's the worst taunt. Um... Okay, we're a mage. We get a Gurubashi Berserker, please. Frost Nova Control versus Taunt and then Rage. Uh, ooh, Raging Worgen though. It would mean with my own Fireball Blast. Ice Lance. Uh, yeah, in this case, I will take the Ice Lance. For uh, of course, we pick the Silence. Um, Arc Mage, very strong. Four seven. It's we don't have a six cost yet. Mana Worm, we just saw how good it was, but I do need some more forecast and I need more Taunt. Mirror Image, other minions, other minions. Ooh, tough choice, tough choice. I will get the Mirror Image in this case, just in case. Uh, we have some Taunt already, and it's the worst Taunt I feel in the game. It's just to keep things off you. And in that case, I will take the Water Elemental. 3-6 and can freeze. Deal 2 damage to all enemy minions and freeze them. A blizzard. Um, board clear? Yes, please. Okay. Um, not useful. Not useful. So we take the Gnomish Inventor. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Your spells cost 1 less. Versus a Taunt. Or a free card. Um, in this case, I have, I have quite some spells actually. So I'll pick the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Um, Wind Fury Harpy, another big hitter with, uh, oh, another Ravenhold Assassin, but in this case, Gadgets and Auctioneer. We have spells, and so that will be helpful. Um, Mogishan Warden, one of the strongest taunts because it has so much health. Oh, when you cast a spell, you get a 1 1, and if you turn, give another random friendly minion plus 1 health. But Sunwalker, possibly the best taunt in the game. Leopard Gnome, uh, let's take another Mad Bomber. Questing Adventurer, have not had a chance to play this ourselves yet, so let's have a try. And combined with cards that make it cheaper to play other cards, could be useful. Um, more card draw, I think that's what we would pick. And another blue one. We only have one secret in the deck, so I don't think that a second Curator Mage will actually be useful in any way. Um, Defender of Argus gives taunt and stuff, but I think that the Argent Commander, a 4-3 charge with Divine Shield, is good to clear stuff as well. So we don't have as much, um, yeah, we don't have as much spells that I would like to have. But, yeah, we don't even have a diff, oh well, we do have a freeze in the water elemental, so we could combine that with Ice Lands regardless. I uh, could have gotten better draws, I think. Not that much choice. Colophonius. Anduin. Okay, hello, Anduin. Um, we get an extra card, and we're getting rid of it all. Because six costs in turn one, not ever going to be useful. Uh, a three, a two, a four, and a five. That's a lot better. And Gurubashi Berserker out early, always fun to have. So let's see, we did got, I think we got the Raging Worgen, don't even remember, but next secret we play, um, oh, here it is actually, oh, we can play that next turn, oh, excellent, and then after that, do it one damage, poof, poof, four damage, out. The ideal, and rage cards are just really good. Oh, mana addict, not very keen on that card, but... Yeah, let's um, let's play a raging organ. Uh, so unless he, if he plays a spell, it's dead anyway, and that's fine. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah. So secret costs zero. So we want to play it very late. That mirror entity. Oh well. Let's see what he does. If he doesn't play a spell and buff it up, I will just hit it and take the enrage cost already. I wonder. Get in 
Uh, oh, okay, that's... Oh, so he gets the attack from uh, playing a different card. Well, that means I can simply fire blast at Sergeant next turn regardless. Unless he decides to not attack the Worgen instead. Then I can... Huh. Summoning portal open. Oh, and a pint-sized summoner as well. So, are you going to attack me, or are you going to attack the Worgen? You are going to attack the Worgen. Best choice in this case. Let's see, what do we get? We get the Questing Adventure. Not going to play that right now, because, of course, I don't have a follow-up. I mean, it will only be a 2-2, he will kill it next turn regardless. Playing Kiring Tor Mage would work, but I don't have the secret to play right now. And deal one damage, I would still have one mana less than I would need, so we'll just kill the sergeant and hope for the best with his summoning skills this turn. It might be painful to see what he plays. Not being able to get rid of the points of summoner is annoying, but then again, we can deal one damage to all enemy minions and kill it off next turn anyway, so... But he did only play a fairy drink, which means he doesn't have a very big card in hand. Otherwise, he could have played a six cost, and that's something he would love to do. Ah, that might be smart, but I don't think it is because uh, oh, we actually get a taunt as well, huh? Um, yeah, I cannot kill this off this turn. I think that playing the taunt is actually going to be the most uh, the easiest way to get rid of more stuff. Then again, he only yeah, that means I have more cards in hand regardless. He will need to either get rid of his Fairy Dragon or rid of his other two cards to kill this off. Then again, it's a Priest deck, so if he has enough spells, he can snowball any unit extremely fast anyway. Okay, destroy all your minions. I don't mind that at all. At the start of your turn, destroy all minions, which means I don't play a minion next turn. Which should be fine. Let's see what he plays. So, if he wants to attack me, he is going to be toast regardless. Okay, so that's a 3-3. Three, three. And he keeps that alive, and... Interesting choice. You don't have any cards. Doomsayer will get rid of a lot of stuff. And in this case, I feel that just doing one damage to something will be the most fun thing to do. And... I mean, I don't play anything, but he doesn't get to play anything either, so we'll do one damage to him. And everything wipes from his Doomsayer. There we go. Now... Whoops. <laughs> I have the advantage. He only has two cards left. And he cannot do 19 damage in one or two turns, so... Mind games, put a copy of a random minion for your opponent's deck into the battlefield. Oh, we have a taunting abomination. Whenever minion is healed, draw a card. Okay, this is uh, going to be fun because I want to get rid of that instantly, and the only way of doing that would be the fireball. Hey, look, it does two damage to everything, including that guy, and I kill it off. He has no cards, I have a full hand, let's get this train rolling. Yes, you have one card, guy, what are you gonna do? Oh, an Oasis Snap, one of the least, yeah, you can heal yourself every turn, that's going to help. Yeah, this is going to be a fun game. Icelands, freeze a character, uh, so let's see, a questing adventurer, hmm, with a taunt I would play it, but I don't have any taunt. So let's see, let's play the Berserker in this case, and I think we want to play the Berserker. What to do? What and we'll deal one damage to uh, the Snapjaw, or to my... No, I'll deal one damage to myself actually now, because I already can do that without an issue. So I don't have the mana yet to play the questing adventure, I feel. Ah, plus two attack on that, which makes uh, it 4-7. Heal itself, not... Oh, you are... Are you going to try and rush me down? Okay. Um, three random... Oh, God. This is going to be so much fun. 
it is. Uh, let's see. Let's play the questing adventure. Let's play the mad bomber and see where the damage goes. One on me, plus three attack. And, oh, that's on the questing adventure. So we now have a 4-6 here. And let's, let's do this then. So we kill this. Or we kill it next turn. Actually, yeah, let's um, let's kill this then, and let's freeze his dwarf so it cannot do a thing. And we do, and yeah, we do one damage to it. Why not? So it can, dies from this in one go or next turn. What do you have to play? What will you play? Well, he can still heal the dwarf. So, and again, I have a eleven one on the field. So you need to have direct damage to kill that. Uh, heals himself, not smart. He has a... Oh no! Start of your turn, a demolisher. It will die. This is this is just ridiculous fun now. Let's see, how can I play a lot of cards? I think we will play... Well, we will first kill the Mad Bomber there. We will also kill this as well. So we do 11 damage to him. Boom, baby. Let's play a taunt and the inventor. Job's done. Here we go. And let's see what you have drawn this turn to beat my 11 1. Uh, oh god. Oh no. He... That's useful. You have nothing left on the field. I mean, seriously. Well, I don't have any charge units, so he survives another turn. Oh look, it's a Mogushan Warden that I will play. Oh look, it's a Taunt that I will play. And you are not dead. No, you are dead. Yeah, that, that worked out pretty damn well because I kept board control. And that Doomsayer, he really destroyed himself with that Doomsayer. Because I didn't play anything, so he was he just lost everything he had. Anyway, that will be the end of uh, this episode. Again, we are ahead at the end of an episode, which is... I just know next episode I will just crash and burn again, I'm afraid, but... Anyway, I think this is, a, this is a fun deck to play. Lots of random stuff, so... Yeah, well, it could have been worse. He could have uh, uh, that mind-gamed on the Ravenhold Assassin. That would have been painful. Then again, he could have mind gamed the gold chart footman as well. So, anyway, if you want to subscribe, there should be a button somewhere on the screen to keep uh, track of my Hearthstone content, but also my other games. I'm still playing uh, Tropical Four, probably. Um, just thinking about it, if enough of you watch it, and I'm also I'm still going to play EU Four, of course, and I will do at least one Civilization game a week just to get that Let's Play finished and completed. So it's out of the way as well. And when I get interested in Civ again in the future, I can play that again. Um, SimCity, also not entirely sure if I'm playing that right now. Because there's just not that much new to do. There's not a new region to play. Uh, we've done almost everything we can in that game. So maybe if some new content for it comes out, then we will look again at it. But for now, do not expect as much... Um, from SimCity as you might think and other than that I will probably go back down to two videos a day for now and probably one Hearthstone and one EU4 maybe a third one I will play some more Tropico in between I will play some Civilization in between maybe SimCity maybe not and we'll see where it goes from there anyway once again uh, the button to subscribe should be on the screen right now I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you guys later